Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a VPC endpoint in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the VPC service, then click on create VPC and give it a name. Enter a CIDR block and leave the tenancy to default. Select one for availability zone, one for public subnet, zero for private subnet, none for NAT gateway, and none for VPC endpoint. Then hit create VPC. Wait for the VPC workflow to complete, then verify that you see one new public subnet, one new public route table, and one new internet gateway. Click on endpoints in the left menu, then hit the create endpoint button. Give your endpoint a name, then search for S3. Choose S3 Gateway, then select the Project VPC. Select the Public Route Table and leave the policy to Full Access, then hit Create. Navigate to the Routes tab of the Public Route Table and confirm that you see a new route for the VPC endpoint that we just created. Next, click on Security Groups, then hit Create. Give your security group a name, then select your project VPC. In inbound rules, I'm going to add a rule for SSH from anywhere, then hit create. Now let's navigate to the EC2 dashboard, then click on instances and hit launch instance. Give your instance a name, select an AMI, then click on edit in network settings. Select your project VPC from the dropdown and enable auto assign public IP. Choose the security group that we just created, then click on launch instance. Hit refresh and you should see your instance in pending state. Next, navigate to the IAM service, then click on roles. Hit create role, then select EC2 under use case. Search for S3, then select Amazon S3 full access policy, then hit next. Give your role a name, then click on create role. Go back to the EC2 dashboard, then click on the actions dropdown and select modify IAM role from the security menu. Select the IAM role that we just created, then hit update. Next, use the EC2 instance connect to SSH into your EC2 instance. Here, if I type the AWS S3 LS command, I should see all five S3 buckets in my account. Let's confirm this by navigating to the S3 service. Watch what happens if I navigate to the policy tab of my endpoint and change the effect to deny from allow. Now, if I type the AWS S3 LS command, I get the access denied error. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.